Hey guys, it's Cal Penn. We got off Air Force One and uh, now we're in a rickshaw here in Delhi. A lot of you might be wondering why President Obama is in India in the first place and what that's all about. So let's dig into it. This trip is a trip of firsts, not President Obama's first trip to India. He actually did that back in 2010. But with this visit, President Obama becomes the first sitting U.S. president to visit India twice during his time in office. Why the second visit? Well, last September, Prime Minister Modi met with President Obama in Washington, D.C. on one of his earliest trips in office. They hit it off, and following that trip, he took the unprecedented step of inviting the president to be the chief guest at India's Republic Day celebrations. So here's another first. This visit will mark the first time a U.S. president will have the honor of attending Republic Day, which commemorates the adoption of India's constitution. But this is much more than just a symbolic visit. This is actually an opportunity for the world's largest democracy, India, and the world's oldest democracy, America, to engage further on some major issues affecting both nations. And who doesn't love democracy? Well, I can think of some people who don't love democracy, but we're not talking about those people today. So during the visit, get ready for this, we've seen a series of bilateral meetings and high-level dialogues advancing U.S.-India economic ties and civil nuclear understandings and the pursuit of increased cooperation around developing clean energy, new defense initiatives, security concerns, and counterterrorism strategies, the effort to combat climate change, the responsibility of upholding fundamental freedoms for all individuals, regardless of gender, orientation, or faith, as well as the pursuit of cleaner air and enhanced public health. That's a lot, right? Well, we can't tell you everything that we talked about. <laughs> Yet there was still time to honor the legacy of political action through nonviolent means that binds both our nations by paying respect to Gandhi at a memorial. While here, the president also released a video message back home announcing new measures the Department of Interior is taking to preserve the Arctic Natural Wildlife Refuge and calling on Congress to designate it a wilderness area, which would keep it free from roads and structures. So that we can make sure that this amazing wonder is preserved for future generations. Okay, so all in all, really busy weekend for President Obama here in India. Tune into this week's episode of the West Wing Week airing Friday to hear more about the president's trip. And now it's off to Saudi Arabia. Chal hum Saudi Arabia jayenge.